Istanbul is one of the most visited cities in the world. Some travelers decide to stay in the city for at least four days to explore it, but some others only have 24 hours or even less as they arrive in Istanbul on long layovers from other countries but want to take advantage of those hours to visit some sites. If this is your case and you would like to make the most of the hours you will be in Istanbul, then in this video we show you what are the must visit places in just a few hours. You can adapt these options accordingly. But before we continue with the video, we would love to invite you to check out our 58 page digital booklet where we share the most useful information to prepare your upcoming trip, such as itineraries in Istanbul from 24 up to 7 days and one in Cappadocia for 3 days, hotel recommendations for all budgets in both cities, restaurants, shopping malls, best rooftops, terraces, nightclubs, and much more. So if you want to purchase yours, you can click on the link shared in the description box and pinned comment. Hurry up because we have amazing discounts. We recommend you starting the day exploring this impressive palace, which was the center of the Ottoman Empire and residence of the Sultan and his family from 1478 to 1856. Here you can also enjoy its beautiful architecture and mosaics, plus several exhibits of the empire's treasures, armor and weapons, among many other interesting sections. You can also visit the harem, the area where the Sultan and his family lived. We suggest to visit the place as soon as it opens, that way you can enjoy it to the fullest without so many people or the tours that arrive between 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. To visit the palace you will need at least two hours and another hour for the harem. The harem is completely optional. The palace is open from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and is closed on Tuesday. After the palace, now it is time to visit one of the most emblematic monuments of the city, and this is Hagia Sophia, built between 532 and 537 by the Byzantine Empire. This is a place that has seen many transitions throughout the centuries. It was originally built as a church, then became a mosque, later on a museum, and as of July of 2020, once again became a mosque. Now it can be visited without a fee, just as in any other mosque in the country, is free to enter. Just please make sure to follow the dress code before entering. The visit to this place takes approximately 30 to 40 minutes maximum. Located next to the Blue Mosque and just a few meters away from Hagia Sophia, you can see the place where once the famous Hippodrome of Constantinople was located. Here we can still see three of its original monuments that were part of its complex such as the obelisks of Theodosius and Constantine and a fragment of the Serpent Column. There isn't a fee to visit it since it is a public area and it takes at most 20 minutes to see it all. After the Hippodrome, you can visit one of the largest and oldest covered bazaars in the world, the Grand Bazaar, in Turkish Kapalıçarşı. You can take a quick walk here, take plenty of photos, and why not, maybe you can also buy some souvenirs. It's totally free to enter, and you can explore the bazaar for 30 minutes. Remember that the place is quite big, it has almost 4,000 shops, so you will not be able to cover it all, but at least you will have a general idea. Since the Blue Mosque in 2022 is still under restoration and most of its interior is covered, we wanted to include another beautiful mosque located just a few minutes away from the Grand Bazaar, Suleimania Mosque. This one was built under the orders of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent between 1550 and 1557. This mosque is a gem and is one of my favorites in the city. 
Also, the views from its gardens are stunning. Also, here you can visit the tombs of Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent and his wife, Hurrem Sultan. The mosque takes about an hour to be visited. After the mosque, now you can walk down towards the Spice Bazaar, which is quite famous for its spices and other souvenirs. You can also find local shops surrounding the bazaar, where you can find all kinds of souvenirs for much better prices. You can stay as long as you want, it all depends on what will you like to buy and see. This is one of the most famous areas in Istanbul, and here we can find a street full of shops, restaurants, and cafes. You can just walk to feel its environment and have a general idea of the place. After walking along Isiklal Street, you'll reach the Galata Tower, which is also one of the most famous monuments of Istanbul. Just keep in mind that in high season, the line to go up the tower is quite long and can take up to one hour to enter. In case that you don't have enough time and there's a long line, just go to the nearby streets to take some nice pictures with the tower as a background. If you have enough time after finishing exploring the area around the tower, now you can take a Bosphorus tour from Eminönü port. Those tours take approximately one hour and a half in total. If you decide not to take a Bosphorus tour, then you can just take a public ferry from Karaköy port to Kadiköy on the Asian side. This way, you will also have the opportunity of exploring a more local neighborhood on the Asian side. Here you will find a lively environment, restaurants, shops, markets, pubs, and it's a great place for any sort of street foods. With this itinerary, you'll be able to see the most important places in Istanbul and have a general idea of the city. We know that Istanbul deserves a minimum of five days, but in 24 hours or less, you can still see at least the most famous places. If you liked and enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Also, we would love to thank our patrons and YouTube memberships for supporting us in creating more videos like this for our channel. See you next time. Bye-bye.